The concerns of masturbation go beyond the psychological. Masturbation won't cause us to go blind. Won't cause hair to grow on our hands. Oh, dude. And we know that we're having sex with somebody we love. It's really good for you. It gives you good skin. It helps you go to sleep. For women, it can relieve PMS. If we don't masturbate, we actually suffer and can cause harm to ourselves. Shut up! Shut up! Healthy and harmful, it could be both. 70% of people report an increased energy level if they abstain from masturbation and they perform better at work, they're able to exercise more often. I, I don't know, maybe it's a placebo effect, but I'm not going to knock it because it's helping people. Masturbation can be psychologically, physically beneficial, and for many people I think it can serve as a substitute for a sexual partner. As a young martial artist, I learned about chi and inner energy. I later discovered that this comes into play in how Asian medicine and inner energy arts like Qigong view the potential dangers of masturbation. When a man ejaculates, he loses his will. It's all gone. It's not coming back. Yeah, you have to manage your internal energy. And the biggest energy leak is masturbation. After a man stops masturbating, his whole life changes. All of a sudden, he's not dragging all the time. He's alive. He's happy. He's just not always complaining and being tired and settling for less. You are losing a lot of your life force from your organs and your glands. So that's why it can be very dangerous. There have been a number of studies linking masturbation to prostate cancer that have had contrary scientific results. A colleague of mine named Spring Cooper and I wrote 